What is up artists and art fans? Thank you guys for tuning into the spot where we talk to your favorite Instagram artist about their tools, the tips, and of course the craft, right? Uh, today's guest is, uh, is joining us from somewhere out there in the world. No, he's joining us from the East Coast. Uh, pretty awesome guy. I've had a pleasure to talking to him for a, quite some uh, weeks, maybe a couple months now, I think. Uh, but if you guys are in my lives, do you guys follow Pez or Josh for Kicks or uh, Art by Ivan Sandoval? You definitely see them in the chats all the time. We are speaking with David Lopez. Uh, for all of you guys, he is better known as Blackjack Davy. Uh, he also has a uh, 18 plus uh, page here as well. It's called Bad and Broken Club. Broken spelled with a three, just like in his name, Davy. And of course, he has Blackjack Davy at uh, dot bigcartel.com. So, them four are definitely going to be, uh, I mean, them three places definitely where you're going to be uh, checking them out. I mean, he's also on Twitter as well. And there he is. Uh, shout out to RC underscore Art2. That's the homie arrow. He was on here as well, chatting with Zim. So, make sure you guys checking him out. And without any further ado, man, let's get our Blackjack Davy into this mothership here. And uh, let's see, where is it? Let's go ahead, beam him up, go live with Blackjack Davy. There he is. So give him more welcome. And uh, while he comes in, there he is. Hey. The man himself. A myth. Some say the legend. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. He's rocking that, that pin right there, too, homie. There you go. And uh, also, guys, make sure you guys are checking Dead and Laughing. Uh, they're part of the Max Squad as well. They just had a show yesterday. Pretty awesome show. Still got to comment and put it up on the wall. I've been MIA for the past week. Been spoiling myself, getting high, <laughs> drunk. I'm a little bit of both right now. So yeah, there it is, man. Uh, last things, also make sure you guys check me out, Chatting with Zim, right here on, on on YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe, check out the homie Seven is Life, and of course, Monstrous Art Clan. Uh, find us here on Instagram. So, let's go ahead, Davey, man. What's up, David? How you doing, bro? Not much. How you doing? Good, man. Trying to get all these uh, promos out of the way, you know what I mean? So I don't have to do this halfway. How's your, how's, uh, how's your day going? My day's going good. How about yourself? Man, I just woke up not too long ago, dude. Got the got a Thanks. nice hangover. <laughs> yeah, man. No I, hangover though. <laughs> yeah, you probably still see it in my face, man. You know, very chinky. I'm not Asian, guys, but <laughs> <laughs> I do play one from uh, 11 p.m. to about two or three in the morning. So. crazy there you go i just landed you heard the jets we're about to take <laughs> off pretty shortly though so don't mind those and uh, i want to thank everybody else in the uh, in the room for coming in man I, I see some cool cool names in here we got pug stickers dominic dominic does art shout out silk 55 are these some of your uh your followers here bro some of them Psychedelics, yeah, that's got to be yours. Yep. <laughs> Black Dynamite, Becky Dynamite, what's up, man? Thank you all for coming. In. All right, Blackjack, Davy, bro. Um, first off, I'm guessing you like Blackjack. Not really. No. What's no. Up with the uh, name, man. Origins. It's a, it's a old uh, Irish uh, folk song that. Uh, Bob Dylan covered a long time ago. Oh, okay. And uh, I really liked the song, and I ended up using it as a thing for everything. So now it's my username. <laughs> okay, well, that makes sense. And that's funny. And if if it wasn't for uh, YouTube, man, then I'd definitely be playing that shit in the background right now, bro. You know what I mean? Right. 
And uh, where where are you uh, where are you located, man? Specifically, uh, bro. Michigan. Michigan. Oh, hey, that's not too far from here, man. From Illinois. I think uh, you you follow some guy called T.J. Mars. No, right? T.J. T.J. Mars. What? Can you hear me? No, I can. Yes. Okay. I was going to say, uh, can you, do you follow some guy called TJ Mars? I think I do. Pretty sure I do. <laughs> okay. Because he, he's out on the East Coast, and I think he's moving up to Michigan oh. shortly. So, yeah. And Pat says, uh, this whole time you thought you were black. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That's hilarious. All right, David, man. Well, first off, uh, not only can you find you guys here, you can find you as well as uh, Bad and Broken Club. Broken spelled with a three instead of a knee. That's your 18 plus. Yep. Right? Awesome. We'll definitely get to talk about that a little bit. And uh, if you guys want to buy some of this merch, then definitely go to blackjackdavy.bigcartel.com. It's that simple. I'll go ahead and I'll put the uh, – the notes and the pens down there so you guys could uh, check it out there during the live there so hit us up with your origins man hit us up what drove you uh what got you in the art dude how do you how did you get here man uh i've been drawing my whole life but uh about five years ago i decided to get into painting and and i really stuck with it now i'm working with digital art Yeah, but what got you? What what what's your first? Uh, what's your origins into into like, art, man? What who got you into it? How did you uh, get into art? My middle school art teacher really uh, pushed me to keep going. He uh, introduced me to H. R. Geiger, the guy who did the okay. design for Alien. Yeah. So what what year was that? Or that was high school? The middle school. Middle like school. Two thousand and. Five. Holy crap! You're younger than I am. Then. Thirty. I'm trying to think. I might be wrong on the year. All right. But that's cool. Were Were you already drawing by this time? Or yeah, was I was already cool? drawing. I've always been doodling on any paper. Okay. And besides him, with it, like since you were drawing before this, I mean, what what got you into this? Is it something you uh, just picked up one day? You just started doodling. Yeah. Like you, were, were you born with, out of your mother with a brush? Yeah. You know I had I mean? a I had a pencil in my hand when I was born. <laughs> oh, okay. Legend there says. Go. Um, there you go. Uh, I don't know. I used to like reading a lot of comics when I was younger, so that okay. really got me into it. That's pretty badass. What kind of comics, man? Um, I like uh, a lot of uh, Spider-Man and Batman when I started uh, and Spawn. I started reading Spawn way too young. <laughs> hey, it happens, man. Oh, that's that's pretty dope, dude. Uh, by any chance, are you still reading anything today? Uh, it's hard for me to read comics all the time. Okay. A lot of because I spend so much time making art, I've I've like neglected everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, That's cool. I'm waiting for Saga to start back up, and then I'll probably start reading comics again. Nice, nice. Yeah, man. I I gotta start posting it a lot more, but I don't want to spoil it. You know what I mean? But there is definitely a place where we could get uh, free comics. Like, yeah. we could read them online and shit, yeah. I've said it a couple times, and I know I'm, I was supposed to bring it up, but, like, I don't want to ruin a good thing, you know what I mean? It's like you kind of kind of sneak it in there and let people follow their own thing. Sweet. So now we flash forward to, uh, to grade school. Uh, we flash forward, and... Uh, what about your high school year? Were you uh, interested in art during that time? Were you doing that? Were you doing uh, art or? Yeah, I was making art during high school. Uh, 
First time I painted was in high school, really. And how did that come about? Art project? Uh, yeah, art projects and stuff, art class. My art teacher didn't like me in high school, though. <laughs> what? I never wanted to draw the Bob Ross paintings and stuff. Ah, okay, okay, makes sense. Yeah, and guys, if uh, you guys are just joining us, we're uh, we're live with Blackjack Davy. Make sure you guys hit him up. Hit him up, Blackjack Davy, BigCartel dot com, and Bad and Broken Club, eighteen plus. And of course, man, all of this was traditional, right? Man, yeah. this was way before uh, digital stuff happened. Um, now, later in your in your art career, I guess you could say. Um, did you get schooling, further schooling? Did you go to college for this? I or... didn't, no. Okay. All right. And what uh, what led you into the um, into the whole digital scene, man? When did you I, get into uh, that, and what, what opened your eyes to that? I remember watching, like, some YouTubers and stuff back, uh, back when uh, some of the first Antiques came out. And I bought, uh, I bought one then. And then I tried it, and I didn't really like it, didn't really get into it, uh, stopped for a long time. And then last year, I got back into it, and it gained no traction at all on my page, so I stopped. Mm. And then I broke down and bought an iPad this year, and I really clicked with the me. So I've been sticking with that for a while now. Yeah, dude, and uh, it's a, it's been a, it's dope stuff, dude. I, oh, I've been thanks. digging it. Yeah, dude, I've been enjoying that for uh for all you suckers out there that don't know, you know, um, you got blackjack dating. Definitely would tripping me out, man, sometimes, dude. Sometimes, you know, I get hella wasted, come inside, and I'm not just... <laughs> I'm like, what am I looking at? No, but they they look dope, dude. Love the whole... I love what you do with the skin tones, though. I, I, I can't do that, man. I take forever. That's why I don't do portraits. I have a lot of fun with skin tones. go this for some reason i love this one dude i don't know why oh the watercolor yeah that's probably why this looks like a uh alien mary jane here kind of does yeah then seeing some fan art here Ooh, baby Talk to talk to me about uh about this one then. How, how did this one come to be really quick? That? Yeah. Uh, like where do you get your inspirations for these creatures, man? Uh, uh well a lot of the time when it comes to uh, originally when I started doing like multiple eyes and mouth, it was to like represent movement in a image. And then I just it makes more sense to look like weird, trippy demons. Uh, I like a lot of surrealist art. Okay. The uh, Pat says that uh, <laughs> he's a, he, he just scolded at me, bro. He says uh, you look like you're doing your last recording before you go out to do your first shift, the deadliest catch. I, how'd he know? I didn't tell <laughs> anyone that's what I was doing. Oh my god, dude. Some of you guys know about Paz. Some of you guys don't. Keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just let's just let's not open Pandora's box there. So out of all the all these mediums dude that you use, man, what do you think is your 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 most favorite, man? I really love using oil paints. I don't like how long it takes for it to come about making with the... Oh, because of the drying yeah, time Yeah, the drying process. Too long. Yeah. No, but that that's really dope, man. That's interesting. Why uh, why oil zone? I don't know. Because you can... It, uh, it stays wet. You can keep using it for longer. You can really make the skin get real weird. Is that what you use on uh, for your traditionals? Like oils? Uh, yeah, a lot of them. Oh, man, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. What about your uh, your next favorite? What did, uh, 
besides the oils? Probably digital. Okay. And if you could only choose one? I'd probably stick with digital. Oh, nice. Well, you could only choose one. It would have to be digital. No, I said, well, you, you could only use it. I'm, I'm yeah. not asking. I'm telling you. You can only use that one now from now on. That's the uh, Zim Zimmer rule right here. The channel with Zim rule. All right. That's all I'm going to use now. Well, once, <laughs> once you step out of this live, you can't use any other medium besides your favorite. So I don't know where that came from. But, yeah. That's pretty interesting, dude. I've never uh, done uh, oils. But I, I would only figure, man, is that um, how do you balance this this digital going between digital and traditional, dude? Poorly, very poorly lately. Yeah, <laughs> I've ah, uh, I need to find more time to do some traditional. I kind of miss it. Okay. And talking about time now, how do you how do you actually balance your your art life, dude? How, how does that go about, man? Uh, COVID made it real easy. I just stay in and I, uh, <laughs> nice. Full-time, part-time artist. Uh, part-time. Part-time. Though it feels like I have two full-time jobs. Oh yeah. I think, I think you, you speak for the entire room, man. When you said that. And usually, uh, how, how does that, man, how, how do you balance that, that work life, art life, and uh, family life? Uh, it's a lot of uh, work. And then uh, I try to fill up as much spare time with uh, making art as I can. And then I, uh, and I try to spend some time with family. And then I get maybe a couple hours of sleep. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, yes. Any any tips for anybody else that might help them out, man, with like time management or anything that you've learned on how to how to manage your time? Uh, you're gonna piss off all your friends. Uh, but if you really like yeah. making art, uh, you should probably stick with it and work on it a lot more. You know, yeah, that's, yeah that's it's so. hard to balance everything. Yeah, man, and you know, I want to be uh, want to be one of the first ones to say, man, thanks, thanks for everything that you do, not just your art as an artist. But the support that you show the community, bro. Well, I you love know, supporting I, other artists. You know, I, thank you, I got man. I've been hanging on my wall. Uh, we don't need to talk about that. You know? <laughs> Wait, just just that chatting with Zim when you got there. And that's it, man. That's all that matters. Oh yeah, I'm repping Zim. <laughs> there you go. We we don't need any any Pez talk, any any Ivan talk. No, I'm just joking, man. But that's dope, dude. Uh, that's awesome, man. And. Uh, uh, when it comes down to, uh, <clears throat> I don't even know what I was going to say, to be honest <laughs> with you. No, but like I was saying, uh, thank you. Thank you for everything, man. I definitely see you uh, always participating right there on the shows, man. So it's, it's pretty cool to see, dude. Thank you. I try. When are, when are we going to see, uh, when are we going to see you coming out, man, doing more lives like that? Huh? Probably sooner. There you go. It's all about free time and what I'm working on. So what are you working on? That's a great question. What am I working on? Yeah, what uh, are you working on right now, man? I got the Demon Girl I've been posting in my story. And then I got this uh, triple face thing that I've been working on. Oh, that looks sick. Then I have a massive two-foot painting that I've been saying that I'm working on. <laughs> it, it'll get there. Now, uh, just rough estimate, man, you know, just toss a number out there. Uh, give or take, how long does a piece take you, uh, does it take you to finish, man, for like uh, digital and then traditional? Uh, depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing just a portrait, it could be as quick as a couple, like six to eight hours, okay. where a more full body ends up being closer to 12. Uh, paintings are about 12 hours to 20. Oh, shit, yeah.
man, that's crazy. And that's just because of the drying time and everything. Yeah. Right? Oh, oh. Well, if I counted in drying time, uh, drawing, uh, drying time, it would be a lot longer. Yeah. And then, uh, would, uh huh. I would work on like three or four oil paintings at the same time, and I'd be able to post three a month. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. What about for the future? <clears throat> Excuse me, for the future, man. Uh, I wanna in the start of twenty twenty one. I wanna start getting more prints and stickers made. Okay. Because I really neglected the shop this year. Stickers is a big thing, man. I I see a lot of people getting into stickers, dude. Either that, or I'm following a lot of sticker heads. So. Same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. And they're dope. They're dope. You, you guys, uh, everyone else is slowly getting me into it. So, you know, slowly becoming a Zim collector. Corona Zim has a sickness. No. Wait. What? Corona Zim Oh, has no. I didn't wear a mask. Yeah. And I think that Bruce is talking like, uh, like fucking Yoda. Corona <laughs> Zim has a sickness. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> What about your influences, bro? Who who influences you, man? Uh, I know. Salvador Dali is a big one. Oh man, I've That's always cool. really liked Salvador's art. Um, I like uh, Alex Party. I've been following for years. His crazy, weird, trippy art. Uh, Andy C O Andrews. Andy C O Andrews. E C O. E A S A L. Dope, dope. And what about uh, what about like anybody from uh, from the gram or anybody else, man? Uh, I really love Ivan's art, Ivan Sandola. And shout out um, to art by Ivan Sandola. Uh, Becky Dynamite is one of my favorite artists on here. Hopefully she's still in here, man. I'm listening. Yeah, she got some. Uh, she got some dope art, man. It's, it's, yeah, she it's does. trippy. It's wild, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, you know, as much as I try to keep this page clean once in a while, you know, because sometimes <laughs> my daughter gets on there, and she'll start right. liking stuff, you know, and it's like, oh, there, no rules, <laughs> scrolls, keep scrolling, you know. Yeah, Pug says I love everyone but Pez, so. That sounds about right. <laughs> you know, and then Ivan, Ivan's just dope with it, man. You know, so. If you guys don't know, Becky Dynamite or Ivan Sandoval, man, make sure you guys are getting on the list. That's pretty badass, dude. Tell us a little bit more about your life, man. Something we do, we might not know, man. Uh, you play any instruments or uh, you, you sing? I haven't played an instrument since no. middle school. Uh, BMX. And no one wants to hear me sing. Okay. <laughs> any any hidden talents, dude? That that we we might not know about. Uh, not really. Uh, I put all my skill points into making art. <laughs> Word. Cool, cool. What's the uh, What's the fam say about your art, man? Supportive? Uh, yeah, everyone's been very supportive of me. That's great. That's really great. It's like, on your iPad again? <laughs> David. It's like, when are you going to go to work? We need to eat around here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an interesting question, man. When you're not working, when you're yep. not doing art, and when you're not with the family, what? Well, well, maybe the family could stay in there, but what else are you doing, man? Like, if you're uh, not doing art or work, and what else are you doing? I like movies. Okay. I like watching a lot of movies. I like anime. I like reading manga and comics. There you go. What are your favorite type of movies, bro? Uh, I like uh, horror. I'm a big fan of horror. Oh, nice. Any any good ones you've seen lately, man? 
Because, I mean, uh, you know, there's a there's a virus going on out there. I don't know if you've heard of that. The, the Possessor was really good. That just Possessor. came out. Can we find this, like, on Netflix? No. You got to, like, rent it. Also, oh, illegal streaming it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. you got to do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Good to know, man. Anything else, brother? Uh-oh. Did we lose him? Oh, I can't hear you. There he is. There you are. You're back. And the show is back, everybody. Rejoice. You're in slow motion. There you go. Oh, nope. Still acting up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's it. That's still the butt in me, man. <laughs> so you were. So you were saying, man, the possessor. Yeah, that was. Uh, really that's good. a good one. Cool. Anything else? Um, trying to think if I've watched anything recently. For me, I like those psychological movies, man. You know, uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Well, those are always good. Yeah, those M. Night Shyamalan movies, you know, stuff like that is down my alley. Uh, one of my favorites was uh, Law Abiding Citizen. That was pretty good. That's a great movie. That's a fucking dope ass movie, man. Um, I like Limitless is one of my top favorites. You know what I mean? And, and then, uh, then if you want to go back to like superheroes and we got to go all the way back to like the original turtles, man, that was a great movie. You know what I mean? Uh, recently I haven't watched anything pretty good. Uh, the last thing I watched, which is, which was all right. Was that, uh, that Jamie Foxx one? That he did with superheroes, where they would take the pills. Oh, uh, uh, Project Power, yeah. I think, or something like something that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one's pretty dope. And uh, besides that, I, ca I catch myself watching just like just more anime lately because of you guys and Pez, pretty much. Uh, I've been watching. Uh, you got Netflix. It's a show called Big yeah. Mouth. Oh, I love Big Mouth. That shit is hilarious, dude. So that's what I find myself watching most of this time right now. I've been watching a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, okay. Yeah. When when Hell the yeah. dub episodes come out so I can make art while watching it. Dope. Is that what you're usually uh, listening to, man? It's either a chat room or watching some yeah. TV or anime? Yeah, that's something. Oh, that's pretty cool. Puck says Mandalorian season two finale was awesome. I don't even want to talk about that, man, because I haven't watched it. I was trying to watch it, but yeah, I heard they all die though. So oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yep. 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 The Big Bang happens all over again. Something like that. I don't know. Now, going back to art, dude, um, I know there's times when uh, people experience, artists experience that uh, that art block. Uh, yep. Do you ever come across this, and how do you go ahead about, you know, uh, overcoming that stuff? Uh, the way I normally beat it nowadays is I switch up my mediums, or I start practicing. I'll do, like, anatomy studies or something to kick me back into it. Oh, that's pretty um, interesting. Yep. Yeah, there you go, guys. Switch up the art next time you guys feel like uh, you guys are stuck a little bit. Don't know what to draw. You know what I mean? What about like uh, what about like procrastination, man? We we all deal with this uh, procrastination crap, you know? Oh yeah. Uh, the iPads made that a lot easier, just because like when mm. I get home. I sit down on the couch. I don't have to, like, go sit down at a table and start drawing or painting. I can just grab the iPad and start going. 
Word. Hell yeah, convenience, guys. Mad convenience. Yeah, I was telling uh I was telling the uh the digital squad there, uh Pez and Ivan and all them that uh eventually I wanna get into it, but I wanna have a dedicated uh device per se. Yeah. You know, I don't want it to be traditional where I, or uh iPad where I could just walk around and I want a dedicated one right. where I need a PC and you know, use what pros are using. Right. Not with these uh what these little whack artists are using out there. Looking at you, Pez. I'm just uh, I'm just okay. I gotta give them shit, man. I've been I've been talking a lot of shit. All right, notorious underscore Pez, guys. Go 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 check him out. Awesome, awesome guy. Awesome guy. I just feel so horrible now. And uh, Davey, bro, let's go ahead and uh, check out your tools, my man. Have you got any tools around you? Oh, like no. <laughs> like, no. Let's see. Let's talk I about some of the some of your cheap favorite paintbrushes. Uh, but it survived for a while now. Um, I use uh. Oh, let's see. Uh oh. I use golden paint for acrylic paintings, and I use um, gambling paint for my watercolors. I use um, oh, what's the brand called? Oh, I don't have any watercolors around me. Is it is it PH Doctor PH? Hmm. It's not uh, for watercolors, that uh, Dr. PH something? No, I use, uh, I'm trying to think what it's called. I, it's called Core, Q-O-R. Oh. oh, okay. I got to check those out. What about your uh, your your oils? I use um, it's called uh, Gamblin. Sweet, sweet. And now let's uh, let's talk about the uh, the digital tablet, man. What are you working with there, man? Uh, iPad Pro. 2020. All right. What application you use to to do your art in, man? Uh, Procreate. Procreate. You have you used anything else? Is there anything you you recommend? Uh, you don't recommend? What I normally use on the computer when I use that one, I use. Um, Clip Studio. Okay. Nice. For pencils, mechanical or wooden? Mechanical. I gotta ask, I gotta ask. Is there, uh, have you tried uh, any other applications besides the uh, the Procreate? Like that Sketch uh, Desk? You ever use Sketch Desk? No, only Procreate uh, on the iPad. <laughs> Pess says that uh, he lost the internet because you're uh, certified. So, so he certified. missed you shit talking him. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We weren't supposed <laughs> to bring that up. You know? That that this was my cop out. This was this is gonna be like, <laughs> hey, you, you didn't hear. We didn't have to tell him. You know what I mean? Oh, that's true. That's true. I mean, he wasn't here for it. He wasn't here for it. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet man, what about uh, any other tools that that you've used in the past, that dude, that you probably uh, don't recommend or didn't really work out for you? Is there something, anything like that, man? Uh, 
not really. Everything's been very, like, usable. I've never had any, like, I don't know. I I don't really, uh, I guess sculpting. I'm no good at sculpting. Uh, okay. But, but like, overall, I don't, I think, uh, I've never really cared about what the brand is. Mm-hmm. Master with everything, bro. I guess. <laughs> that, that, that's why. That's why it don't don't even matter. Now, he, he, so here's a question, man. Do you uh, do you sell your work? I mean, obviously you do. You got the big yeah. cartel. Uh, do you take commissions? Uh, I do, but not often. Oh God. Because people tend to ask me to do weird stuff, like draw them Tinkerbell. In, in the or, naughty position, what? No, that then I'd probably be more pro. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, uh, that's funny. Oh, that's cool. Any uh, any commissions? Well, what was the, the the weirdest commission, man? You ever you ever requested? Uh Weirdest thing I've ever been commissioned to do. Uh, someone had me paint a hornet's nest one time. Yeah, okay. That that that, that, that was weird. Kick. Yeah, that was strange. A hornet's nest. It's That's like, what all they right, lady. Of. It's like, all right. What about uh, most memorable commission? Uh, I did a really cool Joker for someone a while back. Well, what was so memorable about that one? I don't know. I just like drawing the Joker. Sweet, there it is. <laughs> Man, you're gonna have to ask. I'm, you're gonna have to make me ask. Well, I'm gonna have to ask it. Um, what's your favorite uh, comic company, dude? It's probably DC or Image. Okay. I really like both of them. Favorite hero? Uh, Batman. Villain? Uh, I don't want to say the Joker. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you could, you could. I mean, I could, that's what it is. I don't want to. Uh, I really like the Court of Owls. The Court of Owls. Holy shit, man! Nice. You're probably the first to give me that answer. Yes, the Illuminati guys. The mystery. Ah. <laughs> you should have told me this earlier. I could have worn like a little fucking owl little thing, you know? I have a Court of Owls mask. No way. Is it? Is it? Is it close it, by? It, no. Uh, it might be. Give me one second. Oh, yes. The Court of Owls mask, people. If you guys don't know, then you guys don't know. Definitely uh, check out DC for that. Oh, they they got him. They got him. Oh no, he's there. They got me. <laughs> Zim Z Z oh shit! <laughs> Man, that looks that looks dope and freaky at the same time. That's sick, dude. That is sick. That's a nice one. I like that. He probably is the court of owl. That's my secret. Dude, I know. He has a mask. What's the secret handshake? <laughs> you know? Is it that one that goes like like that? Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's see what we got here. If you had a superpower, dude, what would it be? Hmm. If I had a superpower, be invisibility. Women's bathroom is all I heard. That's not what I said at all. I said oh, invisibility. Okay. Invisibility, <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Invisibility. Why would you choose invisibility? Women's bathrooms. 
Damn. <laughs> Comes full circle. <laughs> <laughs> fucking blackjack. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was like, oh, shit, I'm a whole year. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Full fucking circle. Great shit. Great fucking answer. Now, now that's a perfect segue, dude. That's a perfect segue into uh, Bad and Broken Club. Now, Bad and Broken, guys, for you guys don't know, that's also uh, David over here. But that's his 18 plus. You know what I mean? And uh, first off, a bit about it. I mean, can you still hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Hello? No, I can't hear you. Well, besides, you know, it, yeah, besides being uh, just the naughty version, uh, what, would, uh, what made you decide to start that, man? Oh, because I didn't want my main account to get taken down. Oh, okay. Because I like uh, I don't I like drawing naked people too, so I didn't want. But Instagram doesn't like that, so yeah, you know what? And that's not a bad thing. Let's go show some of the uh, the loots from there. How about that? Actually, let's not. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> yeah. maybe that's a bad actually, idea. If you're gonna post it to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, that's exactly why I like said that. You, you know what? Let's not. How about that? Um, there's a lot of, um, yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> memories out there. Uh, definitely a lot of that. A lot of these women look like they went, uh, swimming in, uh, in some fucking donut frosting. <laughs> so, you know, there's this one that looked like she just got out of cold frosting. Yeah, these girls love their donuts. These frosted donuts. So. <laughs> Great stuff, guys. I mean, if you... No, no, I mean, like, like for real, yeah, it looks fucking dope, though. I mean, besides the 18-plus stuff, it, it looks sick. It looks dope shit. And I definitely dig that, dude. And I didn't... I. Does Instagram bring down uh, artists, even though they're like that? Because I've seen a lot of fine artists... Uh, you know they'll they'll do like uh, these paintings of you know these women and stuff, yeah. and they don't they don't get taken down. So I've seen a few people, I've seen yeah. a few people get taken down. I've had posts taken down. That's the reason oh, I did shit. it. Okay. Well, I guess you would know. I just don't do it just because you know I got a daughter, man, and I can't be posting that stuff. Like, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> like, why do boys pee standing up? Like, oh, God damn. Boys up. Show the goods. No, I can't show the goods. <laughs> show the goods. <laughs> over here, Baron, over here trying to get me kicked out, trying to get me canceled. I mean, you see what's going on there with cancel culture? Sorry, cancel culture. Sorry. But not sorry. <laughs> now, as far as, uh, now, as far as your, your goals go, man, with your art, dude, uh, what's, what's something, where do you want to take it? Where do you see yourself uh, going with your art, man? Is it, is it more of a hobby? Do you want to take it? More pro. What's what's the final end game here for your art? Uh, I like to see where I can take it. It's for me more than a hobby. Uh, I would like to see just how far. Like I would like to paint on a wall or something. Go further with wow. my painting. That'd be dope. And then I uh I bought the iPad because I wanted to go about making a comic. Hmm. Sweet man. Any uh, any ideas? Any anything flowing yet? As far as your your comic, uh, I want to do like uh, Tales of the Crypt, like a uh, weekly horror monster type thing. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. I, I like that. I like that idea. Any anything else? Uh, uh, cooking in the kitchen there. 
Besides that little idea? Uh, not really. No, no, no. Sweet man. Well, that's a dope ass art goal, dude. I, I I definitely like that, and uh, with your style, dude, uh, I I definitely think it it'll be pretty good. Pretty good to keep an eye out for. And uh, if as far as your art style goes, I mean, uh, well, what uh, I don't know if I asked this earlier, but you know what what uh. What's with what? What's with all these uh, funkiness and demons and stuff like that, man? Where's that come from? Where's the? Uh, I don't know. I've always been sketching demons and stuff. There was like this sketchbook I found at my grandma's when I was like, uh -huh. that I did when I was like five, and there was all devils and stuff. I was like, okay then. <laughs> oh shit! Nice. So I've always been drawing stuff like that. It's not like you're gonna take your shirt off and have big ass pentagram in the back right. or something, no. right? No, I just like drawing horns on people. <laughs> and I like that. I like that. Could it be symbolic for you being horny? Huh? <laughs> Is there a little something of that being maybe, in there? Maybe that's what it stands for. I never thought of it that way. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, I, I, lo I love what you're doing. I, I think everybody else could say uh, the same. Um that's pretty pretty interesting though man um do you have any experiences with with that sort of stuff you know that the devilish maybe uh the occult um, the, the occult the ouija board anything not really no i just watch a lot of horror movies i guess yeah yeah definitely man well that explains a lot that it's that explains why uh why why you're is very far out like that Sweet stuff, guys. And uh, once again, guys, uh, if you guys are just joining us, uh, we are talking to Blackjack Davey. That's Davey with a three instead of an E at the end. Uh, make sure you guys hit them up here. Also, hit up blackjackdavey.bigcartel.com. And don't forget about his 18-plus account, Bad and Broken. Broken with the number three. Uh, Bad and Broken Club. So let's get that right. And cool, man. Hey, uh, Blackjack, dude, uh, still got a few more questions, man. But if you got anything, definitely feel free to ask. Uh, for all you guys watching, not only a big thank you very much for joining in, but if you got questions, definitely drop them in the little uh, question mark bubble down there below. And, of course, Davey, we can't have an episode without a, uh, a little sketch giveaway, right? So can't forget about that. Today's giveaway... Oh, that's cool. We got him crying some fucking uh, some donut, some donut hazelnut. Oh, wait, what is it called? Some frosting. He's crying some <laughs> frosting. He had some frosting in his eye. He needs to wipe it off, guys. <laughs> Anybody check it out? We got a little Sasuke. All oh, your favorite. Everyone's favorite. And uh, let's go ahead and do a. Uh, Let's do the number game again. How about that? You want to play? You want to join this one, Davey? Sure. All right. First one, number from 1 to 20. And it begins now. That's call out a name, brother. Uh, I seven. mean, call out a number. No, no seven. not seven. Oh. Not seven. go guys with a little bit of uh, frosting in his eye 15 Vinny says 15 no man it looks like Luis Brown took it right there right off the bat so right there you see the 13 there it is and game is over lucky winner Luis Brown 77 71 took it for the win. Let me go ahead and write that down. Sweet. Now, hey, David, man, what's one of the greatest tips you, you've learned, dude? One of the greatest tips you received for, for doing art? Um...
when it comes down to doing oil paints, when doing eyes and teeth, start with the black outline and it'll fe uh, feather the white better into like mm. the grayness of the eye because you know how eyes never really white. Yeah. And your teeth aren't. So it really works nicely for that. What about the uh, best advice given to you? Oh, that that was it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, that was it. Okay, I thought I thought you were letting us know. I'm like, ah, I'm here. Oh, I master, am, but master secrets here, man. I'm like, cause I, it's something. It's funny you say that because it's something that I literally got a touch of, is uh, a client's portrait, their teeth, mm -hmm. and my brother had mentioned it yesterday night. You know, and he's all like, hey, they're not exactly white, blah, blah, blah. You know? Yeah. So, okay. It's, it's a sign. It's a sign. That's it. Well, then you're very welcome. Thank you very much, dude. I'll definitely uh, retouch that up after uh, after the second show. Let's see. Uh... I have nothing. I have nothing. I, I, I don't know what to ask. Where am I? Is this live? <laughs> no, uh, what's something about the uh, art community that, that, that you like? And then what's the, one of your biggest dislikes about the art community? Uh, I like it's a, I found the art community to be very friendly. I really think mm. there's a sense of community there. Uh, and uh, I don't like how quickly people will stop making art. Like, I noticed a lot of people will stop. They'll just disappear. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I, I see that a lot. I'm trying to catch... Trying to it. catch the glare on the glare. Trying to catch the glare, make it look like my eyes. Like, ah, interesting, but I can't do it. <laughs> No, that's uh, that's very that's a true one, dude. That's uh, something I see a lot as well. You know, especially artists that are that are very good. You know what I yeah. mean? Uh, they'll either do that or they'll post like super infrequent. You know, like every yeah. other month or something like that. And there's a lot of people that I lost interviewing because it's uh, you know they they have it they just not producing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh no, Bruce is quitting Friday. Man, you should have quit last year, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm joking. That's the homie Bruce thirteen dot art man. Monsters Art Clan fam. Love that dude. Ah, uh, let's see, man. A any other questions to it? Anything I didn't get to? Anything I I, I didn't mention that you might want to mention to the audience here? Uh No, you seem to mention everything that I've been doing lately. Uh, Any questions, comments? Uh, are you popping off anywhere in the, like art walks? Do you are you partake in that sort of stuff? There hasn't been any around here. I've been very quiet outside lately. Mm -hmm. Is that something you want to, would, would you be interested in ever doing yeah, something I like that? Yeah, I would like to do uh, some art walks and stuff once uh, next year and stuff. Oh, shit calms down, right? Yeah. Yeah, because like I tell people, I mean, it could be the start of a new year. That doesn't mean the shit's going to go away, y'all. Right. So I think we're looking, shit is not going to normal, shit is not going to normalize at all, period. But if we do see any sense of normalization, I want to say March, April. You know what I mean? But, but I'm right there with you, dude. I definitely want to go ahead and do some art walks as well myself. Uh, I see a lot of people have been pushing uh, towards that and definitely got a little drive, man. But... And I know you touched on it as well a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, you touched about... Uh, how the the whole corona thing didn't really affect you you know as far as the the whole art thing goes you know what i mean uh 
it didn't slow me down. And it, if anything, especially at the start, because I uh, got laid off for a couple of months, for about a month, I was very productive during that time frame, just because I had all that extra free time. Uh, and it hasn't like led to me. I I don't think I've had artist block this whole time. Uh, I intentionally didn't make any prints this year or anything because of it. I didn't want to put anyone in any situations. Like I didn't want to try to like ask for money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I I asked for all of the money. I tried, to. <laughs> but nobody gave it to me. So. That's yeah. a different story. And uh, it looks like we got one question from uh, Bernd Skura. Uh, he's asking, let's go ahead and share it. What are things in your art that you're trying to evolutionize or want to change or improve? So uh, anything in your art like... that you're trying to improve? Hands. <laughs> Hands. Yes, that's and always I'm a trying good to... one, man. Uh... I'm trying to put more people or multiple people in images. I don't want to uh, less bust. I want to stop doing less bust too. Oh, ah, okay. Well, that was. No, I meant like Ted. <laughs> uh, we're, we're talking about head now. Huh? It's not. Let's not get into that combo. <laughs> <laughs> we we don't need any. We don't need. Uh, we don't need any more uh, glazed people here. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite song, dude. Favorite song, song that makes favorite song that makes you happy. Favorite song that makes me happy. Yes, sir. I don't. You don't know. I don't know. I don't. I. I don't. Listen to happy music. Uh. <laughs> uh well, well. Okay, let me. Happy was the wrong word. Uh, a, a song that puts you in a uh, in a better state or in a better mood, I guess. You know, just uh, a better mood overall, man. So you're having a shitty day. Let me throw on some music. Let me get out of this shittiness. What do you throw on? Uh, I'll always throw on Circus Survive. Circus Survive. Uh, normally, Anything off of their uh, second album, I'm letting go. Okay. Favorite color? Uh, purple. Purple. Nice. Is there a reason for the purple? I don't know. I've always liked the color purple. Looks cool. You like uh, long walks on the beach? No. <laughs> 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 Woo! There it is, people. Uh, you believe in UFOs? Sure. Why not? It could be. Pa paranormal? Yeah, why not? I, I don't see why it couldn't exist. You ever see any or the other? One or the other? No, I can't say I have. Very unfortunate. Rats. Cool, man. So it looks like we got about a, a minute and a half left. Uh, you know, at this time, Davey, bro, thank you very much, dude, for coming out, oh, dude. It, thank it, you. It was, it was uh, had fun. Um, looks like maybe my weed's wearing off a little bit now. <laughs> so I'm starting to get, get get into that little normal sensation. Davey is paranormal. <laughs> Oh, Josh, that's a good one. Uh, no, but thank you very much, dude. And you're definitely welcome back anytime you want, bro. Oh, thank you. And uh, thanks again for joining. Thanks again for what you do with...